Now, this week, a potential vote could restrict how much water you use at home. Our area is still facing spots of severe and extreme drought, and the city of Tampa is already promoting water conservation to help deal with higher demand. 10 Tampa Bay's Miguel Octavio shares how the vote could impact you. Water. One of Tampa Bay's most abundant resources and one trickling down after a wave of population growth development in a dry rainy season. Come Tuesday, there's a potential vote aimed to have a ripple effect, a limit on how often you water your lawn through a water shortage order. I can't tell you how many times I've seen sprinklers running right after the rains or when it's raining. Those like Richard Brand of St. Pete feel it may be necessary. It's better to be proactive and before it becomes an issue rather than reactive. The Southwest Florida Water Management District issued restrictions in lawn watering three years ago. It set guidelines for irrigation in counties like Hillsborough, Pinellas, Pasco, Manatee, and Sarasota. Higher demand forced the city of Tampa to buy water from Tampa Bay Water for the second time this year. In my recollection, working for the department for 10 years, I haven't seen us purchase twice. Tampa Bay Water says there's still enough drinking water, but it's urging you to use it only when needed. Areas as far north as Zephyr Hills are also feeling the impact. A lot of the new development was coming up faster than we had anticipated. At times, the city reached its daily maximum. And a few times we had peaked up to about 3 million gallons a day. So we're right at the top of our, our limit. For now, those in charge hope people take initiative following the irrigation rules, skipping when it rains, or inspecting for any broken systems, to name a few. Miguel Octavio, 10 Tampa Bay. And that possible vote could happen on Tuesday morning. Lawn irrigation in the district is already restricted to twice a week, but some cities and counties have special schedules or stricter measures. So now I'll send it over to meteorologist Tyler Moore. Tyler, how bad is it? Yeah, it's been pretty bad, and the reason why is because it's just been so many months of below average rainfall. We talk back to late spring into summer. That's when this all started, and now it's persisted all the way into fall. Here's the number that you need to know in Tampa. 15 inches below average for the year. That's how much rainfall we need over a foot just to get back close to average. And notice some of the shading here. It's not for everyone, but as you head towards the coast, that's where it's been driest for this year. That's where we have a severe and extreme drought for Tampa and towards St. Pete and down towards Sarasota. That is going to continue. There's not a lot of rainfall in the forecast to help with some of the improvement. We do have a little bit towards the middle of the upcoming work week, but out there this evening, we are dry, just partly to mostly cloudy skies. Temperatures have come down a bit. We have some cooler and drier air trying to mix in, dropping into the upper 60s and lower 70s. 72 right now in Tampa. We'll likely see some upper 60s for lows tonight. Tomorrow morning, you'll wake up to partly to mostly cloudy skies. In the afternoon, look at temperatures staying a bit cooler. Low chance for an isolated rain shower. High temperatures for tomorrow in the low to mid 80s.